Hey everyone, it's Megan. Welcome to my Book 2 2015 wrap up slash remainder of August to be read pile video. Uh, yeah, that was a mouthful. So, suffice it to say, I uh, failed at the Book 2 this year. I remember last year I was way better. I completed all the challenges and everything. But this time around, um, I actually had a lot going on. I went on vacation which included a family reunion right at the beginning of Book Tubathon, and following the end of that vacation, I actually wound up proposing to my boyfriend Matt of f over five years, and that was great. Um, so that is why I have been absent um, for the past month or so, like just doing my wrap ups and TBRs like super late for the past month because it took a lot, a lot of planning, to uh, execute that, and it was really great. It all worked out. I'm happy, but anyway. So it's going to take me a little bit to get back into the swing of things, but as um, a couple of updates, I just got a Twitter the other day for the first time in my life, and that was interesting. Um, I'm going to get Instagram very soon, and so I'll be able to start following people uh, that way, and I'm really excited about that. But anyway, I have a rather large uh, to-be-read pile for the remainder of the month, as you have seen in the thumbnail. But I realistically think that I can do this. We're only a third of the way through the month right now as I'm filming, so I like to think that I can get these done, plus several of them I am already currently reading. But first, let us talk about the book Tubathon. So I actually only completed three books. Um, the first one was Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. This um, was the one that I chose to try to even out um, and read seven books all together and so yeah this is a novella about Holly Golightly I'm sure you've seen the movie or if you haven't you should go see the movie now because it is one of Audrey Hepburn's best I read this years ago and as a teenager and I don't think that I fully appreciated it and I appreciate it a lot more now as an adult and the biggest surprise that I found was that the ending for this is the ending that I would pick over the movie ending. The movie ending, now that I think about it, it's like you see the movie ending and it's nice, it's wonderful, but I tried to picture them beyond that. I tried to picture Holly's character beyond that moment in the rain at the end of the movie. And, oh, spoiler. Anyway, I couldn't do it and the book ending seemed to be a lot more appropriate and a lot more fitting to the rest of the story. The other two books I will not be giving this much detail about because I just realized I'll be talking about them in my August wrap-up. But anyway, moving on. Next, I completed The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 1, by three authors whose names I cannot recall at this moment. Yeah, this was to complete the challenge of keeping a hold of a book and not letting it go the whole time that you're reading it, and I succeeded. It's, you know, a comic. Uh, I, I don't know if there's like four or five volumes within the comic, so it's a bind-up, and so it really did not take long to read at all. I also completed This One Summer by Mariko and Jillian Tamaki. They are two cousins. This was a reread for me. Uh, it's a graphic novel that I read last summer, and I want to reread it every summer, and this was also like Breakfast at Tiffany's as a way of rounding it out and reading seven books and didn't even really matter because I failed. So those are the three things that I managed to read during uh, Book Tubathon. Um, in terms of the other uh, books that I read, I started uh, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I am only around uh, 20 pages into this so far, but I'm really enjoying it so far from just the little bit that I've read and I will talk about it more in my August wrap-up. But by far the most reading that I did during that time was I got 220 pages into The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This has sucked me in and I'm in love with this, nearing the halfway point of it, and I definitely expect to be finished with it before the end of the month. So to continue on with the currently reading front, I have Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates. I am, you know, nearing the end there, over the halfway point, uh, 254 pages in, and as you can see, I've been making a lot of notes um, because I have a lot to say about this. So this is a nonfiction book on, like it says, everyday sexism, and I will be talking about it more in my wrap-up. I am also around 38 pages in Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles, and Scarlet. Red Riding Hood. That is what this one is about this time. Um, not too far in, but I'm liking it so far. I'm digging it. Um, I guess people don't like this much nearly as this one much as much nearly as Cinder, uh, the first one, and I loved Cinder. But we'll see how it goes. I am also around 70 pages into Tough Without a Gun: The Life and Extraordinary Afterlife of Humphrey Bogart by Stephen Canfer. So this is, as the title implies, it is like an autobiography of. Humphrey Bogart, who is um, probably my most favorite male actor of all time. 
Yeah, this is really great because it not only goes talks about his life, but it also talks about the backstory production of the films that he did. And I'm a huge fan of a lot of his films, which are classics, so I'm really enjoying this so far. Now onto the books that I am planning to read for the rest of the month that I haven't begun. The first of which is Rook by Sharon Cameron. Um, Shasha from A Book Utopia and Regan from Peru's Project are actually doing a book club read-along group, and this is their pick for the month of August. Um, I don't quite remember what it's about, but I just remember when I heard the summary, I was like, oh yes. And so it's like a dystopian Paris, there's like an underground conspiracy. I, I don't know, but it just sounds really, really good and it's quite chunky, but I think I can get through it. I am also intending to read Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. I have been waiting and waiting to read this book ever since I got it around Christmas time, I think, from Book Outlet. And this is Morgan Matson's second book, I think, after Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. And it's the only one by her that I haven't read. And it's about a girl whose father has recently been um, diagnosed, I believe, I think it's terminal cancer. And so they go to their usual summer cottage and um, she reconnects with a boy that she's known since she was a kid because they've been going to the same summer cottage kind of area since they were kids. Anyway, sounds good. Sounds like a typical Morgan Matson fluffy summer read. And yeah, great way to end the summer. I am also going to finally start Death Note, um, volume one. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I like the concept, but I don't know. I'm not really into this kind of thing, but so many people love it. Matt is crazy about it, and it's like among the bigger manga series that I haven't read, so I think I'll give it a try, and we'll see if I want to continue with the series. And I do still intend to complete Bambi's Children by Felix Sultan. This was on my book Tubathon TBR um, to fulfill the challenge of a book whose author has the same last name first initial as you so Sultan yeah um, this is a sequel to Bambi and um, yeah I've had it on my shelf for quite a while and I was waiting for the following book to to read it and I'll just settle for reading it in August I also plan on picking up Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella this is the explosion book of the month for August I will link that group down below actually that Goodreads group because it's awesome it's comprised of Jesse from Jesse the Reader and Kat from Catty Tastic and Christine from Pullin and Bananas books so it's book explosion. They do it every month. They do a different book and a lot of the times they're books that I want to read so I'm gonna follow along with this one and actually listen to their live show and stuff and it should be fun. Quickly I'll tell you this is Sophie Kinsella's newest book that just came out uh, fairly recently like a couple months ago and it's about a girl who's been through some sort of traumatic experience and as a result she develops a type of anxiety that leads her to have to wear um, sunglasses all the time so I don't know too much about it and that's good because that's how I like my books. I also so do plan to read or at least start Harper Lee's Ghost Set of Watchmen. This was also um, for Booktubeathon um, as having uh, a blue on the cover fulfilling that challenge and I didn't get to and it sucks. You've doubtless heard about this book and everything that around surrounding it and the fact that it's you know a prequel no a sequel to, to Kill a Mockingbird but a prequel in the sense that it was written before To Kill a Mockingbird kind of confusing. But anyway, I love To Kill a Mockingbird as a teenager, and I hope I enjoy this at least as much. And finally, I am going to get through Making Mischief, a Maury Sendak appreciation by Gregory Maguire. This is not too long. It's only around 150 pages, and a lot of them are pictures of his artwork, so I think I could get through this fairly quickly. I love Maury Sendak. If you can't tell, he was the illustrator, the creative mind behind, oh my gosh, where the wild things are. He did the illustrations for Little Bear. I don't know if you remember that. Um, chicken Soup with Rice. Just The Night Kitchen. So many. He is just such a fantastic illustrator and I've developed such a interest in illustration ever since I took a course on it um, at NASCAD. And yeah, so I want to learn more about it. Some of my favorite children's illustrators. I would love to read books about them. Starting with this one, because it's kind of appropriate. It was one of the very first books that my dad read to me when I was just a little toddler, so 
this is exciting. So there you have it. Those are the 12 books that I intend to complete um, for throughout the remainder of the month. Please comment down below and let me know if you have read any of these books or if you're intending to read any of these books by chance at the same time as me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great week. I shall see you soon with another video. Take care everyone. Bye!